next, it's Finn Balor. Of Judgment Day, taking on AJ Styles of the OC. Again, two men who know each other very, very well. Former leaders of the Bullet Club. Getting set to clash here at Survivor Series. Double B, the commentating guru. Thank you so much, B-Shady. I do take pride in my work. But you want to talk about a matchup right here, Ash, that pits two great high flyers in professional wrestling. It's this right here with Finn Balor and the phenomenal AJ Styles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Judgment Day, speaking of the Prince, here comes Finn Balor. Was that just a change of attitude ever since drawing the Judgment Day? Which, in my personal opinion, Ash has brought out the worst in the Prince. Then again, he's relevant again. Considering everything that was happening under Vince, I would say otherwise. Bauer recently on Monday Night Raw referred him to himself as being worse than the devil. And that Styles was going to uh, see it here tonight. Uh, somebody was watching with too much full gear at the weekend. Um, and Big Shady in the chat. Cheering on for AJ Styles. Low Gamer wants to know our favorite AJ Styles match. There was a matchup in TNA, Six Sides of Steel, AJ Styles, and the Monster <clears throat> Abyss. I think it was around 2000. I'm going to say 2006. I will forever say him, Joe, and Daniels in that triple threat for the main event of Unbreakable 2005. Mainly just because very few bits in that match didn't involve all three people. Curl says Styles versus Samoa Joe, any match in TNA. I'm not going to disagree with you on that one, Kuro. Because AJ I Styles... Don't forget I... Bullet Club. <clears throat> well, sorry. OC, not BC. Banana! Styles has had many, many a moment in his career, memorable moments, which some would argue would define his legacy of his career. And why he has earned the moniker, mm. the phenomenal one. JJ Styles has done things that most mortal men can only dream of doing in their wrestling career. AJ Styles, a former United States champion, former TNA champion, former X Division champion, former tag team champion multiple times. <laughs> Has he ever held the IWGP World Heavyweight title? Uh, AJ, yeah. It's Orange Cassidy, that's what the OC stands for, says Kuro. Yeah. <clears throat> that's why everybody's covered in orange juice. <laughs> Shady says, phenomenal forearm, this loser, and send him back to Ireland. I don't know. He wow. could be one double stomp away from winning the match. <clears throat> here we go. Dominic banned from ring. Well, everyone's been banned from ringside, to be fair. Curl, once again, uh, is covered in Especially if you've, if you've seen the clip, of course Dom and Rhea bloody smashed up Rey Mysterio's house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> what, yeah, a, what a what an awesome spot that was yeah, on social and, media today. Yeah, and they're committed to telling the story. I'll tell it. I'll give them that. Even, even though I partly feel I thought they written that story out because that's what did the other company. But I don't know. Favorite TNA match. I'm, I would probably say anything with AJ Styles in it. 
Sling blade right there by Balor. And a drop <coughs> kick Again, right to the face. <clears throat> I would probably say the, the, the triple threat from Break the Ball. Then again, also that tag cage match with the, uh, what was it, Triple X? Yeah, and America's Most top Wanted. Top of the cage. <clears throat> yeah, America's Most Wanted at Triple X. <laughs> Low key and primetime Elix Skipper. That was ridiculous. I'm talking about something that's not ridiculous mm. is Styles going after the leg oh, and the wow. back of Finn Balor. Which is a smart sound yeah. strategy. Oh, Minnesota but he gets to be. What? Minnesota beat, Minnesota beat New England 33 to 26. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Bal oh. It means we have no competition. Tell your friend. Fuck the football. It's all about the war game. Yours is Josh Alexander versus TJP before Impact, before the Impact. <coughs> I'm surprised it didn't go Josh Alexander and tomorrow we should be. <coughs> Wait a minute, calf killer! Oh, excuse me. What? Excuse me, calf crusher. <coughs> no, cows are allowed to be killed here. <coughs> We're not beaten. <coughs> oh, look at that. Little suplex into a neck breaker. <clears throat> Styles, he's on the <clears throat> outside. He could be looking for a front. Oh, little forearm, but Balor got out of the way. Balor saw the forearm uh -oh. coming. Oh, could have run to it. Could have run to it. It could be it. Styles kicks out at two. How many people have kicked out of the coup de gras from Finn Balor? Oh, I, I can only count on only a handful of times has anyone ever kicked out of the coup de gras. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Balor just all over Styles with the sling blade. Balor, for the longest time, tried to recruit Styles into the Judgment Day, and Styles refused. There was an inverted DDT by Styles Spiral Tap, and he was nowhere close. And uh, once again, uh, I'm giving an A for effort, but he was nowhere close. But he's going for the calf killer once again, but he's in the ropes. It's ring placement. <laughs> The calf killer can also be called the real <laughs> deal, Kuro. Josh Alexander versus TJB lasted over an hour. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I'll tell you, any. Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to bring up is anything they did at the, the Hardy Compound with Broken Matt and Jeff Hardy. Because those things were just so well produced and so well executed. My personal favorite part would be Delete or Decay. Styles off the ropes. Again, the knee right to the jaw. Right to the forehead, actually. Of Balor. There's an arm drag. <coughs> Excuse me. And I tell you what, Ash, I don't blame Styles one bit for being as vicious as he is right now with Balor, considering everything the Judgment Day has done to Styles over the past several weeks on Monday Night Raw. We haven't got fluid with you, haven't you, Billy? I do. It's with how long this show's been. Again. <laughs> you thought AEW shows were long. We're pushing into it. <laughs> oh, no, just thought about this. We still got the men's Survivor Series match to do. Yeah, let's... I'm trying to work out whether we should have knockout or not knock on that. Then again, that wouldn't be... Oh, I nearly attacked the referee! That's all about! I'm not sure. Also, what about Joker's skin, Kuro? Wait a minute, Balor! 
Coup de gras! A second That's coup de gras! That has to... Oh, AJ oh, Styles oh, oh, kicked oh, oh, out oh, oh. in the last second. 2.6. 2.6. Oh, wait. I got the six the wrong way around. 2.9. <laughs> but Styles... Styles seems to be setting up Balor for something, but Balor with a counter. What was that? I'm not sure, but that was a sling blade. blade. And that was a drop kick. Which normally means... Could be going up for another one. A third coup de gras! Uh, that's got to be it for Styles. That, yeah, but that's got to be no, it for Styles. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the third coup de gras was the charm for Finn Balor of the Judgment Day as he picks up the win here tonight against his former friend in AJ Styles. You're talking about a huge blow to the OC. It happened earlier tonight with Rhea Ripley just taking out Meechin and now here now with Balor defeating AJ Styles. Fortune and Aces and Eights really held the TNA early on for you? I won't disagree with you, I just say that I won't I wasn't a fan of that sort of